Please be seated. Can you give me a brief introduction about yourself? So myself Nilesh and I'm an aspiring Java developer and uh, my key skills revolve around Java, Spring Boot, microservices and Spring Batch. Uh, these are things in the backend and I also know uh, React.js, HTML, CSS and Vue in the front end. And also about version control systems, I know Git as one of the tools. So this, this is a short description about myself. That sounds good. Let's move on directly to the technical round of the interview. Uh, so my first question is, what is the difference between abstract class and interface in Java? So the key difference between an abstract class and an interface is that uh, with abstract class, you achieve a partial abstraction, but with interface, you achieve 100% abstraction. Basically, abstract class starts with the abstract keyword and uh, interface starts with public interface, you know, the given name of the interface. Um, so tell me about method overloading and method overriding with examples. So method overloading is a feature in Java where you define multiple methods with the same name, but you use different parameters. If I talk about method overriding, you create a single method. Suppose like in your parent class, you created one method like void draw. Then uh, you create the same method in the uh, subclass, but you change its functionality. Suppose in the parent class, it could be like uh, void draw would be system.out.println drawing. But in uh, if I have to say in subclass, it could be, you know, drawing a pen, pencil or anything. So the functionality changes. So this is uh, method overloading and method overriding. How do you create REST API using Spring Boot? So basically I use Spring Initializer uh, for creating the REST API. Uh, I use a model view controller uh, architecture. I use a dependency Spring Web. Then I create classes uh, like uh, controller, services, model and uh, repository. And uh, through this way, uh, I basically create my REST API and definitely there are annotation involved uh, for the service class, for repository class, for uh, a controller class to help Spring identify which class is doing what. Can you please explain to me how you can handle exceptions in a Spring Boot REST API? Basically in uh, Spring Boot, we can handle uh, in an exception through two ways. Uh, first, if I want to handle exception globally, I would use at the rate controller advice annotation. But if I'm handling it locally, I would use exception handler. 